We're going to talk about self-care strategies. This is going to be part one of two, focused around uh, the foot and the ankle. So to define self-care, the idea is that this is strategies that you can use at home, when you get up in the morning, uh, before you work out, before you play sport. But essentially self-care will include uh, breathing, soft tissue work, massage, a lot enhanced by the vibration, uh, essentially to prepare the body for movement or also to a degree to allow you to recover from the demands of the day. So the four exercises or the four movements that we're going to look at is going to start with breathing. Uh, but we're actually going to all use, always use the vibration. So in terms of settings, you can, you can select your own settings. But the vibration is going to enhance certain components of, of each of the movements. So it will be breathing. Then we're going to look at two massage exercises. We're going to start with the, the plantar fascia or the undersurfaces of the feet. Then we're going to move to the calf, and then we're going to bring in the foam roller, and essentially we're going to use a foam roll strategy, enhanced by the vibration, to work on the calf and lower leg complex. Breathing is going to be the first movement we're going to focus on, uh, and, and breathing itself is really important. It's something that's often overlooked in terms of how to, how to breathe properly. And, and the idea here is that we're going to try and sort of relax the nervous system, um, sort of de-stress the tissues, and then sort of enhance that with, with the vibration. So if we look at the settings on the vibration, then. Ultimately, because it, this is secondary to the breathing strategy, then we're going to use 60 seconds and all you need to do is just press start and you can choose either low or high, whichever feels the most comfortable. So we'd sort of suggest maybe trying that first. And for this particular movement, it's really about what feels the most comfortable for you so that you can relax during the breathing strategy. So if we look at the, the actual position that we're going to get into, then just for comfort, what I'm going to do, I'll take you through uh, sort of the, the, the breathing rhythm and then we'll turn the vibration on so you can kind of see in action. So you just want to be in a position where you feel comfortable, the feet can be relaxed, again, whatever feels comfortable for you and relaxed. So what we suggest is that you just place one hand on sort of the, just above the belly button, just so you can kind of feel a sense of, of touch to help with the breathing strategy. You can obviously close your eyes if you want to, but all we're going to do is you're going to take a uh, three second in breath. Hold for two, and then it's a slow exhale for a count of five. And the most important thing is the, is the inhale, so we breathe through the abdomen and you'll feel, which is why we're using the hand, the, the lower abdomen expands as we're breathing in. So here we go. So that's an in count for three, hold for two, and a slow out breath for five. And then obviously we will put the vibration on. Relax into a comfortable position, close the eyes, and away you go. And we'd look to repeat that for at least five breaths so that you actually feel you can relax, and that leads us straight into the next exercise, which is going to be our massage and soft tissue strategies. So we're going to look at the, the massage for the plantar fascia, or the undersurfaces of the feet. So if you kind of imagine this is the heel, then all we're going to do is very, very simply, is we're going to apply some pressure, so some body weight pressure, into the heel, hold for a brief count, and then release. And we're going to simply, just imagine this is the foot, just work our way through all of those areas. So the, the setup, in terms of the vibration, again, whatever feels comfortable. Uh, 60 seconds will be fine because we're going to work one leg at a time, and then you can just press repeat. So the setup again is whatever feels comfortable for you. But essentially, the foot that you're going to be focusing on, we're just going to use the edge of the, of the, of the power plate and just push the heel in so that we get that compression, and then we're going to release. And we're going to push in, and we're just going to have a little bit of movement and then we're going to release. And we're going to work through all of the undersurfaces of the feet. So you can relax completely with the hands, the other leg, whatever feels comfortable really. If you want to add an additional calf massage at the same time, that'd be great. So we're just going to push for a couple of seconds and then release the tension. So essentially push, then we move and we release. Then we're going to work down and push, release, push and add a little bit of movement and then we're simply just working through all of those areas so a couple of inches at a time adding a little bit of movement 
ripping through all parts of the underneath under surface of the feet. And the idea is that that, press, that pressure or that compression is that when we then release that tension, we increase hydration and blood flow, and also the vibration as that extra stimulus to the body, so that we're ultimately from the ground up starting to prepare the foot and the ankle complex. So following on from we've just apply the massage to the lower surface or the, the under surface of the feet or the plantar fascia, we're then going to move up and we're going to work on, on the calf. So what this is going to allow us to do is to get additional vibration stimulus, additional blood flow, additional circulation, and then we're going to add some movement with the feet to enhance what we kind of call a fluid pump. So to get that, the, the, the hydration and the blood flow um, into that lower leg. So again, settings wise, we would suggest whatever feels comfortable, either low or high, and for 60 seconds. So we want to make sure that the, the calf, all of the calf, just kind of below the knee, is relaxed on the machine. And we can just take a, a comfortable position with the hands, wherever feels relaxed. And we're just simply going to start just by bringing the feet towards you and then pushing them away. So plantar flexion, dorsiflexion, the foot and ankle. Now we're going to just do some circles, really simple. Go the other way. And then we're just going to just roll the legs. So now we're kind of affecting the we go this way, so we some external rotation to the lateral part of the calf, uh, the side of the leg, and then obviously more the medial area of the calf. But essentially we're, we're allowing that movement of the vibration to increase blood flow and circulation, and we can just repeat that cycle until the 60 seconds is finished. So we're moving on to the final exercise, the final movement, and we're now going to bring in a foam roller. So the, the beauty of using the foam roller on the vibration is that when we add the compression of the leg, the, initially the, the roller might bounce up, but when we add that compression, we're really enhancing the benefits of foam rolling by adding the vibration. So we're going to focus on, again, the calf. So the setup pretty simple. We're going to come to the side of the plate. We're going to start right the way down towards the heel. And again, you just have to make sure that the amount of pressure that you put on feels comfortable. We're not, we're not trying to get an 8 and 9 out of 10. It should feel relatively comfortable as we're working through. So you can either lift the body a little bit or you can just stay in that position. So the first position, we're simply going to roll very slowly forward and back. And we're looking for literally an inch, nothing more. So we're, we're taking a very slow roll. If you find any sort of areas of tenderness, we can just hold in that position. And then we're going to externally and internally rotate the legs. So just open out, come in. And then finally, we're just going to add it again that same strategy we did before, which is just a fluid pump, so plantar flexion, dorsal flexion, or pulling the foot towards you, pushing away, and then we're going to move down to that next area of the calf. So we're going to follow that same process, so forward and back, in and out, and then, and we just keep working down all the way to the point where we get to the base of the calf, up towards the knee, and it may be that you want to spend a little bit longer on this, depending on if you've got areas of tightness, uh, it's your decision, and ultimately then you would obviously repeat and change legs and repeat exactly the same process.